But what's interesting is, of course, Denmark is many, for many Americans, the model welfare state. This Garden of Eden called Denmark, they do have uh, welfare. They are a welfare state and they do have very generous benefits. In Denmark, the gaps between the children of more educated families and the children of less educated families, those gaps are about the same as they are in the United States. But I think it's important that a lot of these policies that have been put forward have not, at least nominally, have not made much of a difference. What people haven't understood is why has, has this not created a more equally skilled population? And why do family origins matter so much? And that, I think, is the question to ask. And it isn't asked. And so in that sense, I'm saying that, the, that yes, all these may be very good ideas, but the idea that here's Denmark, and it does have better health outcomes. The children's test scores are better. But on the other hand, you find a lot of inequality, like in life expectancy and so forth, even though all Danes have access to these. And so there's something deeper than just changing a program. It's deeper. How are those programs accessed?